Welcome to episode 19 of my video blog. I'm your host Chamal Tatis and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create modern interactive videos. And I said modern because you might have seen some interactive videos in the past, but the one that I'm going to show you right now is, I can tell you that, a lot more exciting. And I will do so by showing to you as well this exciting app that I'll be demonstrating in a while. And this app is probably one of the most exciting video app that I tried so far. And so without further ado, let me show you this app that I'm talking about. And the name of the app is Interactor. And so let me demonstrate to you on how it works. But before I do, as you can see, I have here two projects that I tested a while ago. And just to show you how interactive app works using this app, let me show you the things that I did here so far. So let me open this first one. So let me click preview to show you how it looks like. So if I play this video. So guys, I have both the Mavic Pro and... Let me just pause that for a while. And as you can see, on this video itself, you can see some buttons that you can click to go to another video. So this video is all about the comparison between a Mavic Pro drone versus a Phantom 4 Pro drone. So let's say for example, I want to check out the Mavic Pro drone. What I can do is just click this button. And once I do, as you can see, it then redirected me to this video that talks about a Mavic Pro drone. And once I'm here, as you can see, I, I can also see another button wherein I can see some Mavic Pro deals. So, you know, for example, I'm impressed with this drone and I wanted to buy it. What I can do then is click this button and I'll be redirected to a store or you know, whatever place wherein I can buy this product. So as you can see, this is really powerful, especially if you are doing some e-commerce or affiliate marketing and those kinds of things wherein you're selling these types of product. So, you know, you can just add your Amazon affiliate link right there or a link that goes to your own store and people then can buy the product from there. And again, I want to say that in creating this interactive video, these are not even my own video, you know? So the good thing about here is that you can even just copy any YouTube URL and add them here to create your interactive video. So how cool is that, right? So that's the first example that I did and let me show you the other one. Let me just click preview here. So let me play this video. Hey there, Cham here and I'm just making a quick survey of my subscribers. And by the way, thank you for subscribing to me and staying as a subscriber. And so today I want to help you better with in your business and in your video creation. And so right now, I just want to ask if, where are you creating videos for? So as you can see on the screen, there are three choices here. It's either you're creating, all right, so let me just pause this. And as you can see, that that's my introduction. And I just told my viewers that, you know, they can click the button right there to make their choice, you know? So as you can see, we have three buttons. So let's say, for example, I'm creating videos for my own business. I can click this one or for my clients or I'm probably doing both. So let's say for example, I'm doing both. So let me just click here. All right, I can see that you're creating your video. Once I do, as you can see, I have another welcome video right here and I welcome those who are creating videos both for their own business and for their client's business. And then I told them that for me to be able to help them with and you know give them tips and tricks on how to do video marketing for their own business and for their service, I told them to enter their email in the form that they can see on this video. So here's an email form where you know they can enter their email and they can submit that email to me. So as you can see in, in this second example, this is now an interactive video where I used my own video. So I created four videos. The first one is my introduction and then the three ones are the welcome video once they choose any of these options right here. So as you can see in these two examples, I showed you two kinds of interactivities such as, you know, clicking the buttons and then adding some emails wherein the viewers can enter their email address. But the power of creating interactive videos in this app is not limited to that. But as of right now, let me show you the power of this app in creating interactive videos by starting things from scratch. So let me just close this for now. And what I wanted to do is now start a new project. And I can do so by clicking here. And once I do, as you can see, I have different ways to start. I can choose a blank canvas or I can choose these two templates right here. So we have a lazy man method template 
and a basic pattern interrupt template. And as you can see, they have those video thumbnails from some nodes that connects those videos together and show the workflow of that particular template. And also, if you join the template club, as you can see, there are also various templates right here. But what I wanted to do right now is to start a blank canvas. So let me just choose this one. Click select. And since Valentine's Day is already around the corner, let me create something for dating this time. So I don't know, let me create an interactive video about finding your soulmate, for example. So, you know, if you're in the dating niche or something, this might be something that you can do. So for the description, let me just add the same thing right there and then click create. So the first thing that I can do is that I can add the videos that I wanna use for this interactive video. And here I have different ways to add my videos. If I have my own video that I created myself, I can add them here by clicking here. And I can just you know choose a video from my hard drive. Another thing that I can do is also click here and get some videos from the interactor library. And as you can see, this is one thing that is great about this app. So. It even has, you know, built-in stock videos that you can use as well. So, if for example, I want to use this one, I can just click select and it will be added right here. But as of right now, let me just close this one because what I wanted to do is rather add some YouTube videos. So, here's the first video that I want to add. It's about, you know, identifying your soulmates. Let me just copy the URL here and then just paste it here. And then just click add. You can see it's now added as my first video. And then let me add two more here. So the first one is on how to find a man. For those women who are looking for a man, this can be the video that they can choose. Let me just add that one. And let me add one last thing here, which will be for those who are looking for a woman to marry. You know, so, so let me just paste the link here. Click add. All right. So as you can see, we now have these three videos. And the first thing that I can do is click and drag the very first video that I want to use, which will be this one. So let me just click and drop it here and then add this other two videos as well. So the workload that I wanted to do here is that this will be the introductory video and those who are watching this first video can be a man or a woman and they might be looking for a woman or a man to marry. So within this video, I wanted to add a button that they can click so that if they will be looking for a man then they will be taken to this video. But if they are looking for a woman, then they, they can be taken to this video as well. So I can do that by double clicking this very first video right here. And I can click here to play the video. And let's say for example, I want the buttons to appear at a certain part of the video. I can always drag this current time indicator right here, maybe in about, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so those buttons will appear so i can just place that right there and as you can see i can add different kinds of interactivity such as hotspot buttons text emails custom html image or pop-up trigger so if beforehand in creating this video i already created a button on this video itself like the second example that i showed you earlier wherein i already added a button right there what i can do is just add a hotspot and if you remember, this is like the annotation hotspot in YouTube videos before. Unfortunately, YouTube already you know, removed that feature, but this is something that you can use if you already added some buttons right here beforehand. And what you just want to do is you know, create a hotspot on those parts that are clickable within the video. But because we don't have those buttons as of right now, let me not use hotspot for now. So let me just click here and then press delete on my keyboard and rather the one that I can use is a button so let me just click and drop a button right here and let me name this as looking for a man right there so if I click here I can resize the button and then I can also place them wherever I want within the screen okay, I wanted to add it here for example I can then change the text to I'm looking for a man there we go and then aside from that i can click here and do some customization with my buttons as well i can go here and change the background color 
let's say for example i want to choose red because this is all about love so you know <laughs> let's use red for now there we go and then let's make another button and for the other one let's say looking for a woman you know so just for the sake of this demo let me just add this button from the very beginning of the video but like i said you can always drag here and change where you want those buttons to appear so for this one let's position it somewhere here let's name the text looking for a woman there we go and just click here and again let me change the text to i'm looking for woman there we go and of course let's make the button a bit bigger let's position it here and then again change the button color to red there we go and so the next thing that i can do then is choose these buttons so let's choose the first one and here on click we can click the drop down arrow and choose play node and the node only refers to the videos that we just added so like i said when they press i'm looking for a woman they should choose one of these videos so for this one i can select a node and of course since this is looking for a man i will choose the looking for a man video i'll do the same thing here i can just click play node and the node is how to find a girl to marry there we go so let me just click save save all those changes and then after that i can again click here to go to the canvas and the next thing that i can do then is add some interactivities in these two choices as well I can do so by double clicking this video here so I can just click play but let me just pause for now and you know I can do anything here I can add another hotspot and buttons and probably add some more videos that I want the viewers to go if I wanted to do that but again I can do different things so for example I'm selling a product about a training on how to how to find your soulmate or how to find a man or a woman to marry I can just add a button here and you know just add some text and for this one instead of adding a node i can go here and on click i can say open url and here i can then add you know my own link that goes to my website or if i'm selling an affiliate product i can just add my affiliate link right there or i can also add an email form again just position this wherever i want and for this one i can just go here below and i can just integrate my autoresponder and then what I can do is get the emails of my viewers so that, you know, they can become my leads and I can, again, offer different types of products to them. But, again, that's not the only thing that you can do. Let's say, for example, in some other parts of the video, I don't like these things to appear already. So let me just click and drag these things. And let's say in this part of the video, I want to add a pop-up trigger. I can just click and drop this here. Again, here. I can choose a new pop-up and I can just create my own template myself by you know adding these elements right here or I can click here to choose a template that I can use as my pop-up and as you can see there's a lot of templates here that you can use here's something for e-commerce for email for link for call to action for social follow or for coupon template and let's say for this one I, I have a coupon that I want to give to those who are watching the video I can choose this one let's go back to this node right here let me show you some other things that you can do here you can also add a custom HTML and then just paste your HTML right here so this can be anything and if in any case you want to add an HTML and want to show something on the video itself you can use this interactivity feature right here but let me just delete this one for now Another thing that you can do is that you can also add an image. So for the image, again, you have a lot of options. You can add your own image by clicking browse and just, you know, choose an image from your hard drive. Or another thing that you can do is again, add an image from the Interactor library. So as you can see, we have different images here that are already built in in the software and are available for you to use. So as you can see, they have great looking graphics right here and even some t-shirts and you know you can just choose any of this if you want to add them as your image and you can even make these images clickable so let's say for example 
I don't know, let me just probably this cartoon character right here and just click select and if for some reason you wanna add this image right here you can just position it right there and again you can make this image clickable you know just click here and then do whatever you wanted to do if you want them to watch another video once they click this one you can just click play node and just choose that other video or if you want them to go to a certain URL you can just click play URL and then add the URL right here so you know if you wanna create your own clickable button you can just design that upload it here and probably direct them to your page or to an affiliate URL so as you can see this is really powerful and you can really do a lot of things by using this video app right here and of course this is just a demo so this is a bit messy right here but you got the idea you know I just want to show you how to use all of these interactive features right here but again you got the idea so if we go back here to the canvas if you want to do the same thing to this other video then you, all you have to do is double click and do the same thing here as well but just to save time I don't have to do that for now let me just go back here and let's say you wanna preview how your your interactive video works you can just click preview project here let's click play and see how it works again we can just pause the video for now and if I click I'm looking for a man for example then I'll be taken to this video and another thing that I can do here is that I can add a button and I can say go back to home and let's say I have this video menu wherein you know I'll be choosing some options there's something that I can do but as you can see that's already working and if I choose I'm looking for a woman as you can see again here are those buttons and email forms that we added so the viewers can enter their email address here or click here to visit something visit a website or an affiliate site so let's say we are already done with our interactive video so the next thing that we can do then is to publish our video and I can do so by clicking here to publish and sharing and here you can add the resolution of the video that you want to use and for now let me just leave it as that and click publish once I do as you can see I have two options right here I have this embed code that I can add in my website or I can also use this direct URL that goes to the video so if I use this for example I can just open the link and as you can see it opens a page wherein it has that video so as you can see this is really powerful you know you can just copy this URL itself and send them to your subscribers or to social media places or to your clients and they can like the video they can also share the video and they can even add their comments in this page itself so this is really great but the other thing that you can do is also copy this embed code and paste it on your website so let's try to do that right now and I'm now here in my WordPress site and I'm using Tribe Architect for this one but you can just use your default WordPress page builder and just paste the custom HTML on your default WordPress site but let me just add the HTML code here click save click save here again and of course it's still not appearing here but once I reload this page as you can see this video is already successfully embedded on my website so basically that's how to create an interactive video not just the usual interactive video but like I said modern interactive video and once you get some views and interactivities in your videos you can even check your stats right here and this is really amazing you can see the views of your project the interactions conversions revenue you can even see the retention chart right here and the stat feature of this app is just amazing but of course as of right now because this is a brand new video and we did not receive any engagements whatsoever you don't see anything on the stats right here and yep this video is so long because there's a lot of features that this app has like I said it's one of the best video app that I tried so far and I tried some other interactive video creation app in the past as well but I can say that this is the best one that I tried so far and there's a lot more features right here and what I showed you are just an overview of the things that you can do but like I said there's a lot of possibilities that you can do using this app and 
if you're watching this on my review page on my website i'm also adding the demo video of the developer below the page so that you can see some more features that they did in this app as well aside from that of course if you will purchase the app it also has a complete training so that you can see all the things that you can do and how to use this app but like i said i just showed you some of the features but there's a lot more other features here that you can do as well and for the application there's a lot of application for this one let's say you're on real estate and you're selling different types of properties like house and lot condominium units or maybe just lot you can make something like that you know you can have an introductory video here and you have different videos such as for condo for lot for house and lot and then you know you can just add those choices on the first video aside from that if you're using cinema graphs this can be another way to make your cinema graphs interactive you know you can just upload your cinema graph video here and add some buttons and even add an email form you know so you can make your cinema graph interactive by using this app as well and like what i showed you you can use this for your own business if you're a health instructor for example and you have different types of audiences like you're doing a uh, a coaching for male and female or for different age groups you can add those as options as well or if you're doing a survey for your e-commerce business and you want to ask the color of the t-shirt that your viewers wanted to buy like you want them to choose between black pink white and all those things you can make those interactivities using this app as well so as you can see there's unlimited possibilities that you can do using this app and I'm just giving you some examples but of course you can just think in your own as well or if, if you're teaching online and you're creating a membership site you can even use this in your training videos you know if you have a quiz like for example at the end of your video you wanted to ask a question or you're making a quiz or something again you can make an in interactive video and you know create some great ideas by using this app I can go on and on and give you a lot more examples but again you got the idea and I hope that through this you come to appreciate how awesome interactive videos are and so I highly recommend this web app like I said multiple times this is one of the best interactive video app that I tried and so I highly recommend it so, so if you want to grab interactor as well you can just do so through the button that you can see below this video and if you do I have amazing bonuses for you and as always i have exclusive bonuses but before that let me just show you some of the exciting bonuses that you can get if you will grab this right now and as you can see here are the first set and the first are interactor asset pack you can also get retargeting case study and you can learn how ryan and his team turned 850 dollars into over sixteen thousand dollars. you can also get five steps to one million views on youtube YouTube Ad Mastery, Facebook Video Ad Mastery, Video Suite Play Button Creator, Video Suite Spoiler Box Creator, Video Suite Thumbnail Creator, Video Suite Monthly Stock Video, and Video Suite Monthly Stock Audio. And as you can see, these are really amazing bonuses that you can get if you purchase Interactor in this page right now. But like I said, aside from these awesome bonuses, I will also add some of my other exclusive bonuses that you can see below this video on this page so yep that's it on this episode and this episode went really long because there's a lot of things that i wanted to show you in this app because like i said it's really amazing and so thanks a lot for watching episode 19 and i look forward to seeing you creating interactive videos using interactor so thanks a lot for watching my name is cham and i'll talk to you soon bye for now